Yeah. One open house, over a hundred people through. 47 groups, 47 names and numbers. Yeah. These guys got slammed together with Mr. Michael Silich. Tell us what happened, what was the address, how okay. do you get that many people there? I thought the market was shit. All right, so it was unit six at 31 to 37 Pacific Parade in DY. Um, a beautiful three bedroom Oops. apartment. Um, beautiful three bedroom apartment, two and a half bathrooms, one car space. Um, do you know what? The marketing is incredible on this property, isn't it, Jess? We have a lot of returns here. The product's amazing. Um, the all marketing around it. So, yes. And I think we have a really good schedule as well. She came on yeah. up in right time. We don't want to right time. No, how many three bedders on the market? Oh, there's like five. Not many. That's... On the market in D-Line, there's yeah. about five, of which I think this is one of them. Sorry, I've got a cold. Um, of which I think this is one of them. So, what... what well, you ha- think it's one of the three bedders. No, no, sorry, I know it's one of them. Sorry, <laughs> I've got a bit of a fuzzy head. And also, we just come out of a super, super busy open. I mean, we got slammed. There were people lining up down the street. If anyone tells you this market is quiet, guys, it's not. So it's coming down to a few things, right? It's coming down to the promotion of the property, the pricing, making sure that you've got that pricing structural, and an agent, and I'm not even just saying this, but an agent who is seeing things differently in this kind of market, right? What yeah. does that look like? Lots of social media. Lots of social media, and I think, um, you know, working up for three months with Lisa, um, she's all over the top on social media. She's extremely proactive, and that's why you want the market. She wants some Yes. Um, and yeah, we just got slammed, just traffic down the street, but really, really so good. good. We and what, what, so what are you going to say to the guy that was not interested because there was so many people there? So this is the thing, you know, a lot of a lot of buyers actually get put off when they see that many groups coming through. So you've got to manage that properly. Um, not everyone is there to buy, so there's not. We don't have fifty buyers. Some people are there with different agendas. Some people are researching. Some people are neighbours. Um, you know, some people just doesn't work for them. But isn't that so isn't that the property you want that everyone's after? You don't want the girl yeah. on the dance floor that no one wants to dance with. No, that's exactly. Oh, that's a good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think I think it, Lisa is right. It, it means yeah. we have fifty group interested in the property. Yep. We have this fifty as a buyer who actually want to buy it. And yep. I think that's what we need to focus on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Find out. But if you buy this property, you'd feel pretty special yeah. that it had it had that much interest at interest on Without day that. one. And so can I tell you, these vendors have been amazing. They've listened, so they've employed us. We're like the specialist, yeah, and they've employed us to do this job and tell them what to do every step of the way, which we have we have guided them, no doubt. But they've listened. That's the critical thing. Sometimes we'll get vendors that come onto the market and they're not listening to what the specialist that they that they've employed um, them, you know, then to give them this advice. They don't always listen. These guys have, and I tell you what, today it certainly has paid off. We've got two offers that have come in, which is great. Good chat. Um, Good luck. Stay tuned, guys. We're definitely going to update. Yeah, huge no one. Doubt. You got Arik. Bye. Yes, see Check out your sneakers for Arik. Ooh. Ooh.